morning guys it's saturday 12 p.m london canary wharf and we're gonna have a daily very quick vlog of sketching some of the most beautiful and most atmospheric places in canary wharf Beautiful. Just look at all the details in the interior design. The cafe is literally next to the riverside and next to the sea center. I'm drinking one of their signature hot chocolates and it's so good, I've decided to sketch it. <laughs> the sketch is done, so now on to the next one. And they're so beautiful. As you can see, there's plenty of people around. I'm quickly gonna try and catch this view just behind me. Literally in 10 minutes. Ten. The sketch from the cafe is done. So, architecture time. So that's literally what I've managed to do in 10 minutes. The main thing was to capture the scale, the perspective and the you know, sort of general overview. Whether you are an architect or you want to go study architecture or just be an illustrator, um, it is important to do those little live drawing sessions and trying to bring the character of the picture from real life and actually practice scale and perspective and be able to put in you know the geometrics in relation to each other so that the scale comes up correctly I think when it comes to architecture reviews it's important to realize that each building is sort of composed out of different geometrical shapes that's why when i teach students how to paint or how to draw the most important thing is to understand geometry and to understand you know all the 3d views um, to understand perspective you know how elevations and plans and 3d views work in real life and also to understand the scale of each view i find that especially in the uk when you study um, architecture or you in college or high school and you study art and design they often do teach you tracing images they do teach you you know how to adapt uh, how to compose color palettes in the right way how to match colors identically to the pictures that you see but in general i think it's much much more important in real life to be a creative person and be able to create something from your own imagination from your own mind so you do need to practice and you do need to work a lot in order to be able to bring out portrait or the picture you see in front of you you know identically into the sheet or into the canvas but if we would only try and copy what already exists if we would only try to trace already existing images i don't think there will be any development in the world and we do go through a very fast development of technology you know so often programs like Revit, MicroStation you know they're all very good I mean it's, it's enough for you to create a plan and elevation is pretty much uh, being created by the program it is a time saver but then you know it makes the question so why why do we need architects the other thing regulations um, you know city and councils regulations each project you do have certain requirements in a way architects do have to stay creative and try to test new things you know cities are growing we do not build vertically sorry we do not build horizontally anymore we mm, we have to build vertically to sum up stick to your own thoughts use your own imagination there is a building 
just in front of me. <laughs> You're gonna see in a second. I think this is one of the most interesting buildings in this area. Perhaps because it has a lot of different elements. Perhaps I can show you. So as you can see, we do have a series of different elements. We do have some round windows. So it does actually have a very beautiful architectural form and I'll try to make a quick sketch perhaps of this, this bit over here. I think it's quite geometrical. I really love those little, the little bank balconies. I don't know if you can see in there. And um, yeah, it does have, it does have a very nice feel to it. So let's go. I literally had 15 minutes so I tried to bring in some depth of perhaps you know introducing darker sides trying to identify different materials like brick um, like different types of windows different types of balustrade and to do add on a little bit of details within the balconies within each particular sort of dwelling or apartment so when it comes to architectural sketches it's important to show perspective and the depth of whatever you're sketching so i did try to do it obviously when you look at it from you know from very very close it looks as a bunch of messy lines but it actually does make sense a lot when you look at it from distance so just to solve the comparison uh, i am going to share my little london drawing and sketching trips with you and hopefully you can find something useful for yourself and you can go yourself and you know try to do a little of sketching and drawing tours that's actually what i do with my students as well whenever we have a little bit more free time and the weather is better so these videos are going to be very natural very simple i'm not going to introduce a lot of 3d and editing skills within those videos so let's see how it goes <laughs> 